Hey, how's it going? It's Mike Chappelle with Heroic Performance and Fitness here for another Workout Wednesday video. Um, today I'm going to be covering an exercise that's a big component to pretty much all of the workout programs that I have my clients do. And the reason why it's a big component is it's a total body exercise. You're going to be engaging, I mentioned total body, pretty much every uh, body part. And why that's important, regardless of whether your goal is fat loss or gaining strength, you want to try to activate as many muscles as possible to try to improve in those areas. So with fat loss, engaging more muscles means more calories burned, and you're trying to increase strength. If you're engaging more muscles, obviously the muscles are working, so then they're getting stronger over time. So the lift or exercise that I'm doing today is an overhead shoulder press. So this exercise is a pretty technical lift. There are a lot of components to it, so I'm gonna to try to break it down. We're gonna start from the ground, work our way up. So starting with the feet, we're gonna have firm base of support, feet about shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider, toes either pointed straight ahead, maybe angled out slightly. Really whichever, whichever is comfortable for you. Next portion, we're gonna work our way up into the hips and core area. Now this is the most important part of the lift. Now most people you see doing shoulder presses, they think, oh, it's just a shoulder exercise. They don't even pay attention to the core. That's one of the reasons why this is one of the exercises you'll see most people do wrong in the gym. So when you're standing, firm base of support, knees will be bent slightly. And if you'll remember back to the video I put out last week, it was basically a core stability video. So I was lying down on a mat and I showed you how to engage your stomach to flatten out the low back and rotate the pelvis forward. And basically that's just gonna take the hips, tuck them underneath of the rib cage, make sure the core is stabilized. So that's exactly what we're doing today. So from the front, stand here, hands on the hips. You're gonna be tightening the core, rotating the pelvis forward. From the side, what that looks like, standing here, knees slightly bent, tightening the core and bringing the pelvis directly under the rib cage. So why that's important, you wanna make sure with an overhead shoulder press <clears throat> that your back is flat and all the tension's going down your stomach. Because as you're doing the exercise, you're gonna be pushing straight up overhead with the hands. So you want the weight to go from the hands down to the shoulders, which are then gonna lead into the rib cage. And you want everything going from the rib cage straight down to the hips and then straight down through the legs into the ground. What you'll see most people do with the shoulder press is they're not engaging their core because again, they think it's just a shoulder exercise. So the core, I guess they feel isn't very important. And they press up and their back is arched. So when your back is arched, you notice my hips are out here, my ribs are up here. So all that tension, instead of going straight down, is now going back through the low back and that's where you get strains and pulls and tears and all that stuff in the low back. But you want to avoid that completely. So when your core is engaged, Hips are tucked underneath the rib cage. Now all that weight coming down through the arms is just gonna go straight down into the floor. So the next component is basically kind of putting all of that together from you know, rib cage, hips down, adding the arms. So today I'll be demonstrating <clears throat> with a band and then also with some light dumbbells. And I'm stressing the word light because I don't wanna embarrass myself on a YouTube video. So I'm gonna step inside the band here, bring the hands up, and you're engaging the core, making sure everything's nice and tight, no tension in the back, then just push the hands straight up overhead. Now you'll notice my hands kind of widen out and make almost like a Y at the top. That's just a technique you do with the band to make sure you fully lock out from the shoulders and the elbows. So from the side, this is gonna look like, core tight, tucked underneath the rib cage, extending straight up and then coming back down. Now you'll notice as I get to the top, my arms actually go back and end up being slightly behind my head. Now that's important to do and it's something that most people forget to do with the shoulder press and it's important for actually working most of the shoulder muscle. So what you'll see a lot of people do, like I mentioned, they don't engage the core. So they arch their backs and then they push up like this and their hands end up in front of the body. So when you do this, all you're doing is engaging the very front of the shoulder. When you're able to engage the core and extend all the way up, put the arms back slightly behind the head, now you're engaging the lateral portion of the shoulder to help stabilize everything. Now also, we're going back to core stability here a little bit. 
with people extending straight up, especially with the band. A lot of people are hesitant initially to go all the way up and let the arms go back because they think the band's gonna pull backwards and they're gonna overstretch the pectoral muscle group. If you're properly engaging your core, your arms won't be able to snap backwards like that. So I'll demonstrate from the side real quick. With the core not engaged, back's arched as I go up. Notice my arms can go a lot further back and that's because the tension in the band wants to go straight down to the floor. So if your rib cage is up here, your hips are back here, as you go up, the band wants to meet up with the feet, so it's gonna go back a lot further. Whereas if you keep the core nice and tight and you make sure the tension goes straight down into the floor, as you go up, the band's gonna stop right about there because it's going straight down to the legs. Now, this looks like with dumbbells. As I mentioned before, bands, you kind of wide the arms out a little bit. With dumbbells, you're just gonna be pushing straight up overhead. Same if you were using a barbell, because obviously a barbell isn't gonna stretch on you as you're pushing up. So I have my 20 pound dumbbells here, again, so I don't embarrass myself. So, stand up nice and tall, core tight and engaged. Start with the dumbbells right at the shoulders, then you're just pressing straight up and coming back down. And again, from the side, core is tight. Straight up, hands on, end up behind the head, and coming back down. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, you put some of this stuff into practice, especially the core stability that's really gonna help out your lifts. If you're one of those people who's been in the gym and you haven't been engaging your abdominal muscles to stabilize your body with the shoulder press, initially you may have to drop weight a little bit to make sure you get the body used to doing that. But Dropping that weight and doing things properly is going to eventually lead to you increasing the weight further than you ever have before. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, you can leave a like or you know thumbs up, whatever. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can put a thumbs down, it's okay. You won't hurt my feelings or anything like that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that down in the comments section. If you have suggestions for other videos or other exercises you'd like to see, again, throw it down there in the comments section. All right, hope you have a great day. This was second workout Wednesday video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it.